Hi friends, let's learn about the concepts of accuracy and precision while playing darts. Let's start with accuracy. Our target is the center of the dartboard, which is called the bullseye. Accuracy refers to how close to the target our dart hits. So if I throw the dart, yes, and it hits the bullseye, we can say that we have hit the target with a high accuracy. And if you throw a dart and it lands far away from the center, then we can say that this shot had a low accuracy. Now let's talk about precision. For precision, I'm going to be using three darts. Precision refers to how consistent our darts land in relation to each other. So let me try throwing these three darts. Here it goes. Two, three. So if the darts land in a tight group close to each other like this, we can say we have high precision. But if our darts land in a more scattered pattern like this, then we have low precision. So to summarize, accuracy is about how close our darts are to the target, while precision is about how consistent our throws are regardless of the target. When we start practicing, our throws usually look like this. Right? What is the accuracy and precision here? Accuracy is low since the darts are far away from the target, far away from the bullseye. Precision is also low since all the darts thrown are far away from each other. They are scattered. As we keep practicing, we start throwing more consistently. So you can see the darts are close to each other. So our precision is high. But accuracy is still low since we are far away from the bullseye. Now we start adjusting our throws to try to hit the target. So can you tell me what is the accuracy and precision here? Here our accuracy is high since we are getting close to the bullseye. But precision is low because all the darts are scattered around the target. As you keep practicing, you'll become an expert. Now your darts start landing really close to the bullseye like this. So now your accuracy and precision both are high. And isn't that with everything in life? The more we keep practicing, the better we keep getting at it, right? And if you're enjoying this video, do click the like and subscribe button with high precision and accuracy. Now let's see how the concepts of accuracy and precision apply to measurement. And we will also talk about resolution of the measuring instrument. Now I'm going to use two weighing machines to measure my weight, or I should say my mass, since it's going to give the reading in kilograms. We will take three readings for each machine. So let me stand three times on the first weighing machine. As you can see, the first weighing machine is giving me readings of 59.7 kgs. Now let me try it the second time. It's giving us a reading of 60.6 kgs. Now let's try it the third time. This time the reading is 62.7 kgs. Now let's try the second weighing machine. The first time it gives me a reading of 66.5 kgs. Now let's try it the second time. This time it gives a reading of 65.6 kgs. Let's try it one more time. And the third time it gives me a reading of 66.25 kgs. My mass is 60 kg. So now can you tell me which machine is more accurate and which machine is more precise? That's right. The first machine is more accurate since the readings of the machine are close to the true value, which is 60 kilograms. But the readings are having more variation. They are not close to each other. So the precision is low. The second machine is more precise since the readings are very close to each other. The variation of these readings is low, so our precision is high. But the accuracy of the machine is low since it is far from the true value of my mass, which is 60 kilograms. So hope you understood the accuracy and precision of a measuring instrument like this weighing machine. Now let's talk about what resolution is. 
In simple terms, the resolution of a measuring instrument is the smallest increment of measurement that can be distinguished by the instrument. It's the smallest unit of measurement that the instrument can detect and display. Let's take an example of a weighing machine that measures mass in kilograms. If the resolution of the weighing machine is 0.1 kilogram, it means that the machine can detect change in weight as small as 0.1 kilograms. Now, if the weight changes by less than 0.1 kilogram, then the weighing machine will not be able to detect the change. Such a weighing machine can give measurements such as 60.0 kilogram or 60.1 kilogram, 60.2 kilogram and so on. A machine that has a resolution of 0.01 kilogram can measure mass up to two decimal places. So it can give us readings such as 60.05 kilogram, 60.08 kilogram and so on. So the resolution of a measuring instrument is the smallest unit of measurement that the instrument can detect and display. For the first machine, it was 0.1 kilogram. For the second one, it is 0.01 kilogram. However, it is important to note that resolution is not the only factor that affects the accuracy and precision of a measuring instrument. The resolution of the first machine was 0.1 kilogram and the resolution of the second machine was 0.01 kilogram. So it looks like the second machine is more accurate, right? But however, it is important to note that resolution is not the only factor that affects the accuracy and precision of a measuring instrument. Other factors such as calibration, environmental conditions and the quality of the instrument itself also play an important role. So the next time you play darts, think about the concepts of precision and accuracy and how they relate to your throws. And remember, practice makes you perfect. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for our channel and do share it out with your friends. Thanks for watching.